Oh, I got a fish. Oh, I got a tank. Got him. Got him. Yep. Woo! We on, baby. Hey, yo, folks. What's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing Annoying YouTube channel. Guys, we are currently the fastest growing fishing channel on YouTube. So, guys, thank you so much for that today. We are here with my boy, Daniel with Dev. What's up, gang? We are here at Dick's Sporting Goods, but this is the first of many stores we're going to be I going love to. I coming to Dick's. I would agree. Guys, today we're going to be buying the most expensive fishing reel in each store around us. So, basically, we have Academy, Bass what? Pro Shops, Walmart and Dick's Sporting Goods are like the four main fishing stores. We're gonna be buying the most expensive reel in each and then fishing with them and seeing which ones we like the best. Sweet flex, dude. Today's video is also sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. Thank you so much for helping me do these crazy videos. We'll talk more about the sponsor later in today's video. But we did a store hopping challenge before with like a hundred dollar budget. If you guys wanna see us like store hop and maybe spend like a thousand bucks Part each. three? <laughs> yeah. Six thousand likes and we'll do it. All right guys, we are here inside of store number one, Dick's Sporting Goods. I don't really know what type of reels they have here. I haven't ever bought a reel from the store before. Yeah, if there's like an offshore, like big reel or something, we're trying to find the most expensive, like bait casters ideally, but if there's an expensive spinning reel, I guess we'll get that too, so. Right, there's also combos. We're not gonna be counting combos in the most expensive challenge. It's a rod and a reel. We're trying to do just reels to see what's the most expensive. Devin, what's the most expensive thing you're seeing here? They got you? these. They got $80 bait casters. That's not too bad. It's left-handed though. I, I don't think I could do that. So this was $190, but obviously, I mean, I've used something like this for bass fishing before. It was not fun. <laughs> this was 119 but it's a left-handed and I feel like this is still a saltwater combo But you could use it for like big swim baits if these aren't more expensive We might have to go with this one even though it's left-handed actually. No, that's not even no That wouldn't even be good for swim baits. I'm surprised there wasn't more expensive stuff I've been to the dick sporting goods I think in Lojo City in Dothan and we even bought like a really expensive reel there It was like 200 bucks. So maybe our dick sporting goods just isn't all that Oh wait 129 but that mm, yeah, it's a 4,000 I mean technically that could be used but we're gonna do bait casters So I'm gonna say it's got to be in the case dude. That probably would make sense Somebody could easily just grab yeah. this and run off with it. If you guys don't know how Yak Pack gets all of his reels, he does the five finger discount where he just grabs it with his five fingers and puts it in his pocket. <laughs> so that's how he has so many cool combos for those of you guys wondering. Here in the case, it looks like we have a loose speed spool LFS, which if I, I remember correctly, it's like a $90 reel. So that would be the most expensive. And then there's also a Shimano in here, which I mean, Shimano do be really pricey. So that's probably gonna be the most expensive. Wait, what are you gonna say before he says it? That's like, I think it's 210 bucks. Maybe. I'm gonna say 279. Oh, 189. 189. Oh. Sweet. That's not bad. Actually. We have the new That's SLX <laughs> DC. $190. And I I have the SLX DC I just got in a different video. I think this one's different. Or maybe it's not a DC. I was calling it a DC and then people were saying it wasn't. And this looks different. So we're gonna have to kind of see. I think this is my first ever one of these. Shimano has like 28 different bait casters. Yeah. They all look the same. They all have like the same very similar name. SLX DC 150 HG. What's I do not think HG? I have. I think that stands for how many fish I'm gonna catch on it today. One more thing we do need, and I figure this is gonna be the best place to buy it because they have a huge clearance. We need line for all the reels that we're gonna buy today. Probably try to keep all the line the same. And then we also need lures, and it's a buy five, get five free deal. I think Dick Sporting Goods is going out of business, or their fishing sections are. I've been to some Dick Sporting Goods that had fishing sections. A year later, they don't have them. They're like taking them out of stores. Are they doing the same thing to your guys' stores? Let me know down below. Today's video is also sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle, like the best place to buy tackle. Even better than a buy five, get five free deal. They're always running deals on our website, guys. Go ahead and use code norm10 to get $10 off your purchase of $25 or more. It'll be linked down in the description below. And perfectly enough, they have things from uh, Catch Co and Carl's Bait and Tackle right here. The Bubonic Square Bill, which is actually like a custom like, hand painted hand sprayed square bowl. So these are pretty cool. So get one of these. Oh, they got Guggen baits on sale too. So we'll go ahead and grab. Let's do two packs of the trench hogs. The Sakoshi bug, perfect for a Ned rig. Speaking of Ned rigs, guys, the rattling Ned's my favorite thing to throw on the Ned rig. And on Carl's Bait Tackle is actually the cheapest place to get Guggen baits. So Norm 10, get $10 off. So we're actually gonna grab like three of these and we'll do some crack and cross and some bandito bugs and i think we will be uh good to check out now check out this reel check out the baits and we will see you guys at the next store all right guys we are here at the second store here at academy sports and outdoors i just bought a reel from here like a couple months ago it was like 280 bucks for a video so i'm thinking it's gonna have more expensive reels than dick sporting goods the only problem is they don't like us filming in here so we're gonna have to be kind of like low-key about it we're trying to spend money here i don't get why they hate us but uh, academy store number two i'm thinking there's gonna be more options here due to power failure we are temporarily closed dude i didn't know you could read Stop, stop, Hello. stop. Oh, stop. they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's leave. We were trying to spend our money. I guess they don't want us to, but I'm pretty sure the most expensive reel in there is the SLX, like, 
something other. It's like a two hundred dollar reel, and I bought it here a couple months ago. So we still have the most expensive reel on the best pro shops in Walmart, and hopefully the whole power grid isn't down. Yeah, all right, on to uh, Walmart. Let's go. All right, guys, we are here at Walmart. I'm assuming this is probably going to be our quickest trip because it's Walmart, and a lot of the times I don't even have a reel in here. Period. So it's like literally going to be whatever the reel is that we find. Probably will be the cheapest and the most expensive because it'll be the only reel in the whole store. Maybe we'll be surprised. Maybe they'll have a cool selection. Let's see. Welcome to their whole entire fishing reel section right here. <laughs> That's it. The only bait caster in here is going to be the most expensive one. I only saw one bait caster. There's only one bait caster over there. I was trying to find something on a rod. Walmart's known to be very budget friendly, guys. It's the cheapest place to buy fishing tackle besides Carl's Bait and Tackle. Use code NORM10 on the grid. will be linked down below. <laughs> besides that, Walmart is pretty much the, the cheapest place that you could go buy stuff in person. Carl's is like the cheapest stuff you can buy stuff online. Walmart is dry as heck, so we're gonna go see what's on the real wall. I just wanted to check down here to see if there was anything. There's this Shakespeare reel, which I remember I did a cheap reel video, and this was like $19. It's like the cheapest bait caster of all time. And the only other bait caster I'm seeing on the wall is the Abu Max Z, baby. Yeah. <laughs> For $49. The most expensive reel at Bass Pro Shops actually is not, it's not too bad. I feel like if like a $50 reel, It'd be cool to put them up against Bass Pro Shops. Six sporting goods, yeah. most expensive I mean, reel. It's and a see seven how it does. one to one gear ratio too, so yeah. it's faster reel. Normally you would just have to have a guy come over and get this off for you because they have this like thing blocking it. But um, guys, you guys know how it goes when you try to find a, like a Walmart employee. <laughs> like I don't want to sacrifice an hour of fishing to get a fifty dollar reel, so we're gonna try to get this thing off of here. All right, you ready? Ow! Shoot. Hey, try ripping it. It's tough. I got you. Dude, it's tough, dude. You know Walmart has problems with people sealing things when they <laughs> lock up a $40 fishing reel. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we got it. Don't do what we do, but... um, dude, There's nobody in this whole entire section. We'd have to go over to freaking video games and be like, oh, let me go try to find the key. Anyways, cheapest reel inside of Walmart. I've never used this one before. never even heard of the Max Z, so I'm actually super pumped to try this one out. Yeah, Every no. single reel we've bought today so far has been a reel that I haven't ever used before, so... So, guys, continuing on with Walmart, just... Just things. What an order, dude. Walmart's falling apart, man. Oh, you can even get a warranty on it? For five bucks? Nah. I like to live on the edge. All right, guys, we are at the final store, Bass Pro Shops. Probably the spot that's going to have the most expensive reel. So, Definitely. without further ado, let's just go ahead and go inside. All right, guys, we are here inside of Bass Pro Shops. We're going to find the most expensive reel. I have a good feeling that this place is going to be Dick's Sporting Goods and also Walmart. There's also a ton of fish finders here. I keep on putting this off because they're like $3,000. Let me know if you guys want to see like a fish finder video. I want to get the live scope and I also want to put it up against like the cheapest fish finder I can buy and see how good it is. Yeah, oh yeah. You don't even pay me. All right, so starting off, we have all these reels in this case right here. Um, that's a $550 reel. That's pretty expensive. 700 700 hundred bucks. Thank goodness that is not a bass fishing <laughs> could reel. You, could you else? imagine if you had a saltwater fishing channel, how much money you'd spend on stuff? Dude, honestly, fishing is super expensive. I'm glad we do freshwater. When we went shark fishing, that dude spent $500 on a spool of line. But here is all the bass fishing bait casters, and there is a ton of them. Let's find the most expensive one. I actually just bought two reels from here last week. This one we actually got in the Academy Mystery Box. The $180 Corrado K. I bought this one for a different video. I can't remember when. I've, we've just been buying reels recently. $189. So these are two very expensive reels. I like the SLX. I haven't used the Corrado yet. I think I, I like the Corrado more than the SLX. $190 is the price to beat here. And there's tons of reels. Oh, wait, $199 for Abu? You ever use that? Revo 4 S, no. For my most expensive reel I ever bought was a Revo Rocket, which is the Abu Garcia, like $400 reel. And honestly, I didn't like it too much. I was super bummed. 199 again, dude. What is this? A platinum signature. Oh, it's a Bass Pro Shops reel. I did not think Bass Pro Shops would have one of the most expensive reels in the whole store. More expensive than the Shimano SLXs and stuff. If we don't find anything more expensive, I guess we're getting these. But this is the most expensive so far, the Bass Pro brand for 200. We did a thousand dollar Academy unboxing, and in that unboxing, we actually ended up getting one of these spinning reels right here, the Stratic, for 209 dollars. We already have this reel. This is more expensive than the 199 dollar. Our bait caster over there, but there's one more glass case we have to check. So guys, right behind the glass casing, there is one fishing reel for $250. It's literally like they just put it there for this video it's for like us. They, it's like they knew. The only bait caster behind glass casing, the most expensive reel, $250. It's the Shimano Corrado DC bait cast. All these Shimanos sound the same. They always end up being the most expensive. I think that's the one we're gonna have to get. Well, we'll take a look at it. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I think doing. we'll get this one then. Oh, wow. This actually feels amazing. Actually, I'm so hyped. All right, guys. Dangling with Dev and I are here <laughs> at the pond, and we are super pumped to finally try these. We spent literally half the day just driving around to the stores buying them, so 
We've been itching yeah. for some fish. All right, show them what, what, which I one got you the, got. Uh, the Corrado. Which one was this? Is this, this one from if Academy? If we were to go to Academy, we did the Academy Mystery Box Challenge. That was the most expensive reel that came in it. So I'm pretty sure that's the most expensive reel in Academy. I've never used this one. The only one I've used out of these is the SLX. Actually, no, I haven't even used the DC. So my yeah. first time. I've never used anything out of this. Yeah, th that's why I'm super yeah. pumped, guys. The only one I've used was this one one time, and that's because we just got it. Haven't used any of these in my hand here. So next up, we have the SLX DC. I've never thrown a DC real before i can't believe it i'm a fishing youtuber <laughs> dcs are like the crazy guys it basically like prevents backlashes it stands for digital chip and i think it makes a cool noise when you cast it so i'm super pumped to try the slx dc this one was the one that we got from dick sporting goods right yeah. next up we have the walmart reel which i'm super pumped to see if we can keep up with the other expensive reels for only 50 bucks the what was this one the abu garcia max z max z so this is going to be super cool to try out the handles i can already tell like more plasticky than the other ones we're gonna have to remember Tighten the drag down on oh, all of these. They're brand yes. new reels. That could have been bad. Hey guys, the last one, the one I think I am most excited for, oh, is the one we got from Bass Pro Shops. The most expensive reel for $250. The Shimano Corrado DC. The only thing about this reel is the 6 2 to 1 gear ratio. So it's a little bit slower than I like. But besides that, I'm super pumped to try this thing out. It's a sleek looking reel. We tied a Texas rig on with 15 pound test to everything to kind of keep it fair when we're trying to cast and see how well it does. Comment down below, guys, which reel you're most excited to see. But we're going to try all of them today and uh see which one we like best yes so, sir we're gonna do two for two and then switch off like halfway through yeah sounds right. good to me which ones do you want to start with i'll start with these two guys i'll start with the the two dcs the two most expensive ones is what i'm starting out with Devin's starting with the two cheapest of course <laughs> <laughs> hey but we'll switch it up though i really want to try all of them all right guys so what to start with first i'm so like hype i'm finally like building my fishing arsenal up as you guys know uh in my truck video who where it got broken into literally lost like 18 reels so i'm having to like rebuy everything but it makes it a perfect opportunity for me to show you guys like these new reels that have been coming out and making videos on them i don't know which one i want to start with first the slx dc or the corrado dc these would be my first two dc fishing reels um let's start with the cheapest first i really want to fish with this now but uh i feel like we gotta we gotta save this one for later and uh and try this one out all right guys so when you first get a bait caster there's uh there's a couple things you have to do so i figure i'll show you guys this is like basically fresh out the gate whenever you get a brand new bait caster first thing you want to do is make sure your drag is kind of tight i fish with my drag like all the way down because i click my bail every time a fish goes to take off but if you like to fish with drag on your bait caster just having it like slightly loose where it just pulls out a little bit it's so maybe even looser than that also checking the brakes on the side is very important i fish with brakes all the way on one which is like the least but if it's like a windy day out you go the higher the number the easier this reel is going to be to cast so i think it goes all the way up to 10 i'll probably start on two and see if i can handle that and then move it to one once i start feeling comfortable so guys we're gonna start with the worms i got from carl's bait and tackle the guggen baits and i have like a bag mixed in here of like red bug and june bug and i'm feeling the red bug color today i don't know why but uh, i think that is gonna be the sauce it's still super hot here in florida so i don't think they're schooling on shad quite yet which means the worm bite should still be kind of fire i'm expecting to catch them uh, out deep today or at least have followers up to the bank and the last thing you do before you want to take your first cast is make sure that your lure is falling about half the speed of gravity. So you tighten with this knob right here until it just kind of slowly falls down. And that is going to have you getting the least amount of backlashes as possible. So I'm going to tighten this up a lot. Yep, I think we are ready for our first cast. Brakes on two. Tension knob is all good. And uh, yeah, we're rigged and ready for our first cast. Here we go. Oh, it makes a noise. <laughs> It makes that cool noise. I've always like seen people fish with these and the noise sounds kind of cool I, I bet it could get annoying though after like a couple hundred casts of hearing it over and over again But first impressions on that first cast. I mean that cast is super super far I really want to put it up against a fish though to see how it handles I know these higher end reels too guys They tend to stand the test of time like a lot of these cheaper reels like the abu the $50 one could be awesome today In like a week or two it could start getting crusty Dude, the gnats are on. Uh, have you been getting gnats on you? Yeah, dude, they were freaking going crazy on me over there. Mm. Oh, you got the abu. That was actually a bomb cast actually, right there. I, hadn't, I haven't adjusted my brakes or anything yet, so that was almost max brake. What oh, are yeah. your initial impressions on that, though? Is it like, uh, does it first, feel cheap or does it? Uh, the handles are plastic, so that, that feels cheap. The casing is plastic, that feels cheap. But, I mean, that first cast was kind of bomb for the price. Well, I just backlashed to DC, so. Oh my god, this guy, it's like he fishes never. <laughs> well guys either i'm just terrible at fishing or the dc's a scam i'm kidding <laughs> so guys first impressions 
with this reel. One, I just sent that halfway across the pond. That's ridiculous. The Abu cast far, and that probably had another, what, you think 10 yards on it, Devin? I really like the handles, how they're kind of like open on the inside, so it makes them lighter. It's just a weird thing, but it makes the reel overall feel like less heavy, which I feel like it help with the sensitivity. And I also like how the brakes are on the outside so you don't have to mess around, open the plate up and change it. It's very easy to change the brakes on this reel, which is super cool. And the noise is kind of cool too. So. so far, I like this reel. I just gotta dial it in. This is what happens when you get a new bait caster. You gotta figure out exactly how to cast it. But so far, I think it's pretty good. Oh, well, gotta dial that in more. Um. I think I have a fish. Yep. Whoa, we on, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah. No, the bro's on the Abu. Hold up. Hold up, baby. Oh, nice, nice one. Nice Stay one. Let's go. I saw my line moving. I didn't even feel it. I was like, I might have a fish on. Yeah, I'm recording. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's go. That's actually like a tank for real. Dude, I have a scale too. There we go, guys, on the weightless Cinco. On, actually, it was a weightless Speedworm on the Abu Garcia Max Z. I did not think that the cheapest reel out of all of them would strike first. That was awesome. What are you saying? I'm saying that fish got to be like two and a half. Two, seven, three, Let's dude. Oh, yes, <laughs> Let's dude. Go. That's a, dude, that's a nice one to start the day off, too. Let's go, girl. She's got it. Let's she go. got it. Let's go, dude. Reach. Oh, dude, I'm so happy to catch fish. It's been tough fishing in Tallahassee. I was just telling Norm that. And literally, my next cast, I'm, I backlash because I was trying to still get it dialed in. I was like, getting the backlash out and I saw my line move. I was like, oh, wait. Well, guys, so far, Walmart is beating Bass Pro Shops or this or Dick Sporting Goods, basically all of the stores. So, are you going to switch it up now or are you going to keep throwing the wall? Oh, uh, yeah, obviously, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to outfish you, dude. <laughs> oh, well, that's definitely on the land. So, and that's in the tree. All right, we're just backlashing the bejesus out of this right now. Oh, okay. That was smooth. I didn't even thumb that and it didn't backlash. I actually like this a lot. Way better than that Abu. I mean, the reel itself, like it feels very well made. It's not plastic like that. What I think is really cool, we have the most expensive in my hand and the most cheap. He has the two middle ones. So being able to feel the difference in the most expensive one versus the cheapest one, I mean, it's it's night and day. The handles are made way better. The reel itself is made out of better material. It's not just plastic. Cast better, cast way smoother, reel smoother. That reel, the Abu took forever to get that fish in. So I'm excited to see when I catch one here, like how fast and how much easier it is to reel it in. Oh, I got a fish. Oh, I got a tank. Oh, no, I don't. He's really small. <laughs> Bro, he hit me so hard. Bro, this little fish, look at that, barely hooked. Barely hooked. Just nailed me. I'm not joking. I thought he was at least three pounds the way he hit me. The Corrado just freaking horse. I mean, y'all saw, I skied him in where, I mean, he is probably a pound and a half smaller than the other one, but to ski a fish in, this thing has some serious gear ratio on it. <laughs> Peace out, Girl Scout. Fish bump. <laughs> Dude, a bass just blew up on my line. Not kidding you. I don't think I've ever had a bass eat my fishing line before. I thought, got him, got him. Dude, he might be huge. Dude, oh, okay, it's a good one, it's a good one. Dude, I did not set the drag on this one. Holy cow, he ate my line, then he ate my worm. Dude, I, I don't think I don't think he's like massive, dude. But he's definitely not he's a decent. he's definitely not a dink. Yes. Don't oh. spit it. Oh, don't fall, <laughs> Evan. Don't fall. Oh, he go? Go? oh, dude. He's why is he fighting so hard? Why are he's you fighting, decent, dude? Like you weigh like ninety pounds, dude. Calm down. It's still a good one though. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, you got him. <laughs> dude. Dude, he's a he chunk. was pulling hard, man. There you go. Yes. Guys, I thought I said the the drag on this but apparently i didn't or this fish was just pulling super hard <laughs> holy cow what a fun fight beautiful bass let's get the weight on this one dude this is probably another two and a half pounder two three i'm calling it two three i'm thinking two seven, five two three seven dude bro you were almost right on what two three six you were like point zero <laughs> one off the actual weight dude that was a crazy fun fight though look at that beautiful bass all right i'll see you jeremy have a have a swell life I'm pumped. I wanted to move on to the expensive reel too. I, I needed to try out reels. Devin, you want to try this one now that I've caught a fish on it and we straight? Well, yeah, I'll just take that one and you can take the other two that I already caught it on. Bet. Let's go. That was fun. Thanks, Papa. I am going to try out, guys, the cheap one that Devin caught his first fish on because I'm just so curious to see how good it casts compared to that. This is a big thing. Oh, that was a fish. Oh, dude, the drag. We never said it. We even said to set it. Oh, he's pulling me. Holy cow. Do you see this? 
I can't tell my drag was all the way loose, so he could be. Oh, he popped off. Holy cow. Didn't have the drag set, guys, when I set the hook. And um, that felt like a really big one. Oh, I got one. I got one, I think. Got him that time. Dude, I'm still, I'm still loose. This is a baby. Same spot. <laughs> Definitely not the same fish that we just had. Dude, this drag, you got to crank down like a thousand times. Definitely not the one that we just had because we had the other one on for probably like seven, eight seconds. But um, my first landed fish on the most expensive reel for Bass Pro Shops. And I mean, just a little dink, but he freaking ate it good. I wish you would have bit first and I would have lost you and I would have caught your grandma that was living in the house right next to you. But a uh, three quarter pounder, but we'll take it. We will take it. Oh. Yeah, guys, just hop in the worm with the weighted rig. I'm going to throw in there one more time. That's two bites in a row. Oh, I cannot believe we lost that first one. That one fought really hard. Guys, my impression's off this reel, too. It's got the same handles as the other ones. I really like it. Um, maybe the reason I lost that one fish, though, which there's a lot of reasons. My drag wasn't set. But also, it's a 6-2 gear ratio. So I'm normally used to faster. So my reeling speed, I probably could have reeled a little bit quicker to keep that line more tight, uh, even though the hook never penetrated anyways. But yeah, overall, this reel is freaking casting nice. It looks really good. We'll see if I can hook one more with proper drag so I can like actually fight the fish properly. <laughs> oh my gosh. No shot. Oh, got him. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, geez. He's, wrapped He's wrapped in the weeds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if he's still on there, dude. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, there's a fish on there. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Nice fish salad, bro. Look, I, I figured he was probably small because most of the fish we catch out of this pond are small with the random, like, occasional eight to ten pounder. Oh, my first fish on the uh, <laughs> the Corrado, and it barely pulled it through. But also, that's more of a line thing than a real thing. But uh, yeah, little guy, uh, we'll let him go. See you, buddy. Oh, I think that we caught a fish on every single reel. The Abu is nested. That's the only one I have not caught a fish on yet, guys. I think that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed videos like this. If you wanna. Got any ideas for me? Drop them down below. Maybe we'll do it in the next video. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a ton. And until the next fishing adventure, fish bump, I'm out of here.